Hey guys, Bing here. Uh, today we're going to model uh, something similar to this. So um, k, k, k something, g something, um, and a little bit, a little bit different. So I'm going to model, actually model, going, going to model this one. Okay, so. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a generic model adaptive. And place 9 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then make adaptive. So then select 4, 5, 6, spline, reference line. Okay, so now I'm going to move this away a little bit. Okay, so now uh, point draw on face and place in in the middle of this uh, reference line, and then select this reference. Uh, select this point. Create a create a ray uh, a rotation angle. So create an angle parameter. I'll call it A instance. Okay. Okay. So now, place another point, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this horizontal work plan of this point. So tap, tap, pick, and the place, and OK. Then drag this point up and create an offset. So I'll call it OF instance. OK, OK. So now, select this point together with this point. Spline, reference line. Okay, so now let's go to family type. Let me type in 45 degree. Yep, good. So maybe change that to 6 meter. Okay, good. So now we need to place a point, draw on face. I actually place two points on this reference, po uh, reference line. So the first point, I'm going to move it later. So move it to here, but I'll leave it for now. So draw a reference circle, draw a work plan, set work plan, pick this work plan, and create the first circle, and create a radius uh, dimension, and then create a parameter. I'll call it R1 uh, instance, OK. So I'm going to change it to probably 1200. Okay, so and then I'll select this point, move this to one. Okay, so same. Um, just do another one. Circle, set, work plan, draw another circle, radius. Select this create a parameter R2 instance. Okay, maybe I'll change that to about 1.5. Okay, so now I'll, I'll also um, I'll roughly place it at 0 0.7, so about 7% of you know here of this uh, reference line. Okay, so 70%. So now we need some um, um, create the face, the whole um, face, but we need some uh, extra point on these circles. So we will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each circle. So uh, select this circle and divide path and then click on this number, type in eight. Again, divide path, eight. And then go back to reference line, spline through points. Okay, so we are going to place one, two, three, Escape one two, okay. Three escape one two. Three escape one two. Three escape one two. Three escape and one two. Okay. Escape. So one two three escape. And the last one, one, oops, sorry, one, two, two, and three, oops, so model line, I'll just change that to reference line. Okay, so now we have all the line we need, and then we will create uh, 
the face. So I, I tried, but uh, I can't make a perfect like face all around. I have to uh, make it all separate, like a full, full face. So one, so remember this one. In the tab, select two, and then tab, tab, three, and tab, tab, four. Okay, so now we have this. I think it's good, good. And uh, let's have a play of the parameters okay so maybe I change that to 30 degree good put it on okay and change the offset maybe uh, five meter okay good so 12 maybe 900 uh, one bit smaller mm. one meter yep Okay, so now let's let's create a mass. So new uh, mass, and then I'm going to just quickly place some uh, spline. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. Okay, and then um, just roughly change change the point, and then create a face. Yeah, and maybe I'll just make it uh, look more like the one we have uh, the in the photo. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, just saw the point to make it look like an egg, maybe. This one's up. It's okay, it's okay. Just move it down. Okay, roughly. That's it. Maybe not too high. Okay, this high. And then select this face and the device surface. So now I'm going to let me check one, two, one, two, three. Four, five. Yep, that's okay. So not too much. So okay, and then turn this node on, and then load this family into the mass, so we can place. So I'll place it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what's, what's going on here? Um, let me just adjust this a little bit, make it a little bit flat, see if this is the issue. Uh, and also, um, I'm going to just check this all this vertical because I find this uh, sometimes it will just uh, flip. Okay, so let's do, try again. So, one, two, three. Oh, actually, you can see it's 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 a, it's it's already flipped when I place it. Uh, hang on, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I'll just place it here, one point, and I'm going to have a look. Okay, okay. Let's do place. So previously we do it one, two, three. Maybe we should do it one, two. Three, one, two, three. Yep, looks like uh, that's the issue. So yeah, so when you model this, so you probably need to rem remember. So see here, I place the point one, two, three, all this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So when I place this uh, adaptive in uh, in in my Mass or in the models, you need to follow the 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 point the number. So if you do it the other way, it might you might it might like a break model. So that's it. So that's the one. So let's so if you tear, hang on, if you select 
select it so these are all the parameters you can change so maybe I'll change that 900 uh, 1 meter something up high oh, yeah. maybe 700 okay. maybe we can make it very little tiny 100 yeah so that's that looks nice okay so if so you can what you can do is repeat yeah that's a nice one images so if uh, I'll just <laughs> temporarily hide this one maybe even you can just to 20 oh not 200 sorry that will crush my computer and then wait some of the families not working but that's fine most of them so yeah that's as well mm -hmm. like a hedgehog <laughs> okay so that's that's it that's the exercise today so it's just um, yeah of course let me just change this back to a hundred okay so that's it so um, If you have any question, I'll, I'll probably upload this family, uh, this this little things up, so you can have a look if you want to. If you have any question, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next. Oh, sorry, just uh, one extra. So see all these points. So if you don't want to see them, you can edit family and go s trying to select this divide path, divided path, and then you can just uncheck the nodes uncheck the nodes and then load into your mass and then you won't see them anymore so um, yeah. so that's it uh, I hope you like it and uh, I'll see you next time thank you bye